I think every society is different, and the context and the history are important. In Singapore, we have been very sensitive about race and religion for a very long time because of our history. And if we are a multiracial society. We have had racial tensions, riots, religious riots, murders before. And as a country, we were founded on the principle of multiracialism as one of the cardinal ideals of the republic. And so we have made many steps to have, a, have the basis for sound racial relations and racial harmony. For example, we require our public housing estates to be ethnically integrated. Every block, every neighborhood has to have a certain proportion of Chinese, of Malays, of Indians. And also now we have had to make a requirement that between citizens and permanent residents, the proportions also have to be maintained. And therefore, we do not have ghettos, we do not have a geographical segregation between one community and another, which you see in some other countries, in many other countries. If we hadn't had a public housing program which covers 85% of the population, we couldn't have done that. Uh, we are very conscious of the need to compromise and to accommodate one another. We are not purists about freedom of speech. Um, the Europeans are, the Americans are, the Australians, I think to a considerable extent, share those values. But in our circumstances, we have decided that we have to be practical. And you, if you insist on absolute freedom of speech, you would gravely offend others. And when it comes to race and religion, the temperature in the room can go up very, very rapidly. So we accept restraints on what we can say to one another and what would constitute sedition and inflammatory conduct. And we accept those compromises. We work very hard with the religious leaders. And in the case of uh, jihadist terrorism, most importantly, we have to work with the Muslim religious leaders so that they help us to solve the problem and they help us to guide the Muslim community along the right paths in terms of what the religion teaches and also help us to set right the terrorists who have gone on the wrong way to try and bring them back so that it's not just locking them away but re really reorienting them. Then they understand the error of their past ways and in future it will not happen again. Uh, these are things that we, are, we have been able to do in Singapore. I would not say that Therefore, we have nothing to worry about because we remain a multiracial society and if we did have a terrorist attack, which was you know, jihadist and that has a religious element to it, the morning after, I think our race relations, the tenor will have changed. We'll be under tension. You can heal it back after a long time, but people may be polite to one another but the suspicions, the fears, the anxieties will be only just below the surface. And that's a very, very dangerous place for a multiracial society like us to be. If that's our situation. I think yours will be different. But that's why we take this matter very, very seriously.